submitted for your approval. An unusual event in an unexpected place. Something between the twinkle of an eye and infinite persistence. You're about to enter a new dimension in time and scopes. The TV trigger zone. Hey, is that video on your scope? Yeah, pretty slick, isn't it? Uh, just something I rigged up. Let me see what else you can get on there. Hey, this is Nick Danger, Third Eye. Yeah, pretty slick, huh? I haven't seen a good private eye film in a long time. Hey, speaking of eyes, dig this. So that's an eye diagram, huh? How come it looks double triggered? Well, it's supposed to. That's a pseudo-random pattern. It repeats every so often. If you want to lock onto this thing, check this out. Now, with, with just any MCP scope, you'll be able to see it. Uh, but this is the only instrument to let you lock onto it. Great. Got any more video? Yeah, let's check this out. Who is this guy? Yeah, it looks like Home Shopping Network. Yeah. Yes, home. friends, the 11302A with the amazing TV trigger. You get hold off by events and a micro channel plate CRT. See pseudo random patterns lock before your very eyes. Store setups up to five years. Yes, I said five years, friends. You'll have this baby paid off before you lose any storage. All this and more at the IG National Sales Meeting. Come see the amazing 11302A perform feats for the communication design applications. Just take the GPIB cutoff, Easter San Bernou, take a left at the RS-232 cutoff, straight into Palm Springs to the IG National Sales Meeting. See you there. You're about to enter a new dimension in time and scopes. In today's modern world of electronic science, <laughs> compact oscilloscopes demanded tubes of smaller physical size, yet with a full-size screen display. This delta prop delay can reveal the stability of the device being measured. But wait, you get more. Metastable conditions can be detected using the gated totaling feature. Measurements. The 11302A and the 11301A have histogram-based measurements. No other analog scope in the world or counter timer can offer this. Now the histogram tells us where the signal is spending most of its time. So we can see here and here, this corresponds to the 0% and 100% point of this waveform. We can now easily find 10 and 90% points, manipulate the counter timer to locate those for us, and compute the rise time. And we can do this in the presence of a great deal of overshoot and ringing. Now this histogram can also provide us with RMS. Now that's true RMS, and it's good out past 50 megahertz. Just to show you, we'll take the frequency at the same time. And again, the histogram is assembled. And the measurement computed. As you see here, the RMS and the frequency. Again, this is true RMS, and it's good out to 50 megahertz. Thank you.